press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. We will continue with the concept. So here, I think I stopped at the classification of colloids. So that is uh, based on the type of uh, particles in the dispersed phase. So we already done with the uh, multi-molecular colloids. So where we can see that there is a association of large number of uh, small uh, uh, particles of dispersed phase to form the uh, particles of colloidal range and uh, they will be held together by means of uh, weak Van der Waals forces of attraction and they will be lyophobic in nature. So that is why, so what are the examples are there for lyophobic colloids you quote there, right. So likewise we done with uh, one more that is nothing but the what macromolecular colloids where there is an association of a large number of what we can say the bigger units or larger units to form the uh, to form the colloidal range particles. So, there is a slight change in both the definitions, right? There you have to say smaller, here you have to say large or big, right? So, they are lyophobic in nature, these are lyophilic in nature. The example for these are nothing but your biological examples, gelatin, starch, proteins, enzymes, right? So, cellulose also you can quote the example. So likewise, the third category, what we are having, some of the examples uh, for this macromolecular colloids also you can give some of the synthetic materials like polyurethane, okay. You can have the example for the second category, polyurethane, urethane, that is one chemical compound, polyurethane and one more you can have the example for this one, melamine. What is the one more example you can give, melamine, I think that is one type of pigment and then you can have the polyvinyl acetate also, polyvinyl acetate. So what are these? These are synthetic examples, man-made examples for your second category. What is that second category? So that is nothing but uh, what we can say that one as uh, macromolecular colloids. So simply you remember about the lyophobic along with that if you want extra. So polyurethane, melamine, polyvinyl acetate are also example for your macromolecular colloids where large number of uh, these uh, big molecules associate to form the macromolecular colloids. The third one and the last one is nothing but the associated, <coughs> associated collides, associated collides or we can call that one as uh, micelles also, micelles. Okay, so you uh, you can write like this also. Micelles also can give the uh, another name for this one. Very beautiful concept this is, and very interesting concept this is. What are these micelles? And very important. Out of these three, no, this is very very important. First, let me write the definition for this one. Then I will proceed or I will explain. The substances. The substances. Which on dissolution which on dissolution which on dissolution the substances which on dissolution in a medium in a medium in a medium behave as behave as normal electrolytes normal electrolytes normal electrolytes at low concentration at low concentration follow the definition very important this is low concentration but behave as but behave as collides behave as collides or colloidal particles colloidal particles at higher concentration, at higher concentration. So, such type of collides are called as what? Associated collides or we can call them as micelles. So, very simple concept this is a very very important I am repeating and very beautiful concept is also. Okay, yes, what, what is happening here? The substances which on dissolution, you are having some substance in, and if you dissolve in a suitable solvent, so at their normal concentration or in low uh, what uh, concentration, they acting as what? 
uh, normal electrolyte. Simply if I take the example of sodium chloride now, if I take a solvent that is nothing but water, if I add lesser amount of NaCl to water, it will act as an electrolytic solution. But if we increase the concentration of NaCl, so it acts as what? It acts as a colloidal solution. So, the tax as a colloidal solution, such type of colloids are called as what? Associated colloids or they are also called as the micellis. Understood this one? So, here this will happen and then uh, they, uh, it is nothing but the aggregates held, aggregates held, held by Van der Waals forces, Van der Waals forces and they will increase and they increase and they increase yes with the increase in concentration with the increase in concentration increase in concentration <clears throat> okay and then these are both lyophilic and lyophobic in nature these are both lyophilic, lyophilic and lyophobic, lyophilic and lyophobic in nature. So, I discuss this one, first two categories, first is lyophobic, there is multimolecular collides is a lyophobic and macromolecular collide is a watch, that is lyophilic in nature and the third category if you take that is associated clothes. Just you have to compare, I am giving the differences also, right. So, they are having what both lyophilic as well as the lyophobic nature and uh, with reference to these associated colloids only, you have to learn about this one also, craft temperature, craft temperature, okay. So, it is uh, represented as Tk, just like your critical temperature, it is also critical constants you know no like that craft temperature what is this temperature the temperature above which the temperature <coughs> temperature one more question again above which the temperature above which above which the temperature above which formation of micelle takes place formation of Micelle takes place is called as what? Craft temperature. It is specific for a, spe a specific type of collage, right? So that is a particular temperature at which micelle formation takes place. And one more terminology you have to remember with reference to these. That is nothing but critical, critical micelle concentration. This critical micellization concentration or micelle concentration. In short, that is represented as CMC. What does CMC stands for? Critical micelle concentration. Okay. So the particular temperature, it is a sorry, the particle, particular, it is a particular concentration actually. The particular concentration particular concentration particular concentration particular concentration above which above which micelle formation micelle formation take place micelle formation take place is called as what critical Micellization concentration. So, if you take the example for this one, soaps and detergents. Soaps and detergents are best example for your associated chlorides. Soaps and detergents. So, for a particular soap, the critical micelle concentration ranges between 10 power minus 4 to 10 power minus 3 mole per liter as it is the concentration we are going to express in terms of mole per liter. What is the range or you can say what is the critical micelle concentration for soap 10 power minus 4 to 10 power minus 3 mole per liter. So, this is the what you can say that one uh, uh, micelle or you can say the associated collides. Okay. So, they are the clusters of aggregate particles. Next, you can have the 
mechanism of this micelle formation how this micelle will form that is very important and uh, very beautiful concept i am repeating again and again mechanism of micelle formation mechanism of yes micelle formation okay so as you all know that micelle is or the aggregation of particles okay uh, which are formed by aggregation of uh, several ions or molecules of both lyophilic and uh, lyophobic parts okay so what are uh, these micelle micelle are micelle are the aggregations or you can say the associations aggregations of both both lyophobic lyophobic and lyophilic lyophilic parts lyophilic parts okay so if you take soap soap in water at high concentration is an example soap in high cons so if you just take a small amount of soap and if you add into water it will not form into a collage you can clearly see the solution but if you increase the concentration of soap in water you are going to get a association of soap that is called as what micelle formation so so we can have that so what example we can give uh, soap at soap in water at higher concentration higher concentration that is nothing but your cmc higher concentration you know that soap what is a soap soap okay soap is a uh, soap is a salt of salt of yes long chain fatty acid it is not required but just i am giving the definition salt of long chain fatty acids that salt may be of sodium or potassium that also you should know sodium or potassium salt of long chain fatty acids are called as what soap okay i can give the example for that one that is your sodium stearate what is the example you can give sodium stearate sodium la sodium oleate is there so much sodium palmitate is there okay it is formed because of sodium hydroxide and stearic acid that is a long chain fatty acid right so if you want you can have the formula of this one c17 so not formula molecular formula uh, this one c17 h35 coone c17 h35 coone okay so in this uh, uh, as i said micelle means it is having both what lyophilic and lyophobic parts let us see which is the lyophilic and lyophobic part in case of this one so when you add this uh, c17 h35 coone no to water it will form into c17 h35 coo minus plus na plus co minus plus na plus if you take this one that is c17 h35 co minus here this c17 h35 is there no it is lyophobic in nature lyophobic hydrophobic uh, hydrocarbon end. hydrocarbon and lyophobic hydrocarbon hydrocarbon okay it is we are going to say this one as hydrocarbon and it is nothing but non polar tail non polar tail t a l t in the soap c17 h35 is a very long chain it is part of hydrocarbon right so which is non polar in nature that's why we call that one as non polar tail what left with co minus it is lyophilic because it is attracted towards the solvent it is lyophilic sorry lyophilic lyophilic okay so and then what we call this one as lyophobic it is ionic ionic head ionic polar head like it, like that you can add polar head 
okay so if i write the formula just uh, i will write once so it will be like this c17 right if you start ch3 ch2 ch2 1 2 3 4 5 then it is 6 again 7 8 then 9 10 11 s 12 13 s 14 sorry it is 2 15 16 and then 17 17 ch2 it is visible i think it is not visible it will i will make this one as ch3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 i will make this one as i will rub this one also clearly visible ch it is ch2 here it is c double bond o it is o minus right now count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 again here 14 15 16 then it is 17 right it is the c long chain hydrocarbon this is long chain fatty acid which is that fatty acid here c17 h35 stearic acid yes it is, is it clear so c17 h35 coo na na i removed so here up to this what you can see here is nothing but the hydrophobic or you can say lyophobic lyophobic hydrocarbon hydrocarbon tail this is hydrocarbon tail and uh, what you can see here coo minus it is polar polar head polar head two parts both this is this is what as it is polarity is lyophilic in nature lyophilic in nature so in the so both lyophobic as well as lyophilic parts are there so now i i will show how this will form a micelle right so if you take the structure understood this one yes shall i rub it <coughs> so simply you can write this like this also one line formula 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50
in the surface okay so finally you can have the cleansing action cleansing action of soap cleansing action of soap how the soap cleans just i will show the diagrammatic representation for that one so if say for example if it is a cloth so it is having some grease particles like this what is this this is nothing but the grease okay na now if you meet to react with the soap how those soap molecules will be aligned on the surface of this grease right so here you can have the hydrophobe uh, that is the hydrocarbon in towards this because this is grease grease is also non polar in nature this is also non polar in nature that's why it will be like this this will be like this so here when soap is added to the water the non polar tiles of soap molecule dissolve in grease right so then finally what happens if i write here it is, is it visible so uh, you can see that when we add the water so what happens grease molecule will be trapped by this one it leads to the formation of this structure this is called as what your micelle so here you are adding the water right so that part will be you are washing with the water you are washing the cloth with water simply if you add water the grease will not go when you apply the soap what happens first you apply first little amount of water you are going to add to the cloths then you apply the soaps right the grease particles the hydrophobic or you can say the lyophobic or the non polar end of the soap will be attracted towards the what the grease it will form into a spherical structure it will form into aggregates and how what it is facing to the surface it is having the water attracting that's why when you add the water it will wash away it will carry away it is i think you you are going to discuss in case of the emulsification of fat in the digestion of fat there also inside the body what is there water is there how the solubility or you can say how the digestion of this one happen with the help of bile salts with the help of bile salts and bile pigments they will carry the fat molecules and they will form the micelles the just just imagine the ball inside the ball there will be fat outside the ball there will be water attracting faces they will take the the fat into the digestive tract and help in the digestion right otherwise it will very difficult for the uh, uh, for the digestion of this fat likewise here there also micelle formation takes place here also the micelle formation so how you can explain the cleansing action of uh, this one soap very simple you can have the points like this so that is uh, grease is not soluble in water first grease is not soluble in water the second point uh, when we add the soap to the what we can say the clothes or when we apply the Uh, what uh, the soap to the wall uh, that is nothing but the cloths then the hydrophobic part of the soap will get dissolve in the grease and then when the water is added so they will form into what finally the grease is removed in the form of an emulsion now each oil droplet has an ionic exterior end look at this one ionic exterior end and non ionic interior end which is which is trapping the grease and help in the removal of grease from the what glass so this is the phenomenon so these are the concepts uh, where we can see that both the lyophobic as well as lyophilic parts are present in case of uh, the soap the lyophobic is nothing but the non polar end and lyophobic is nothing but the lyophilic is nothing but the polar head that is usually carboxylate ion it is a hydrocarbon tile no so of the soap and uh, that coo minus is nothing but carboxylate part of the soap so because soap is a sodium or potassium salt of what long chain fatty acids so this is all about the classification of uh, colloids so till now we discuss uh, three different types of uh, uh, classifications of these colloids the first one based on the type of uh, dispersed phase and dispersion medium into eight types which is very important and uh, we already uh, already done with the second type of classification of colloids based on the type of interaction between the dispersion phase and dispersion medium they are nothing but the lyophilic and lyophobic colloids they are also very 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 important for your board exams 
Along with that, we done with the third type of classification of uh, collides based on the type of particles of the dispersed phase into multimolecular collides, macromolecular collides and one more we have done the last one associated collides or micelle formation there you should note about the craft temperature that is the temperature at which micelle formation takes place and the CMC that is the concentration at which the micelle formation takes place and what actually micelle how it cleans the grease from the cloth that is also very important and you have to note down this structure very easy to uh, write this one and uh, here you should know that as the soaps cleans in water no so likewise our detergents also I told that for associated collides what are the examples soaps and detergents are example right so the detergents also clean in the same way as our soap remove the or clean in uh, this one okay so like uh, they also form the micelles if you want you can just uh, note down the examples for uh, detergents that is uh, sodium lauryl sulfate and sodium dodecyl sulfate sodium that is uh, what i am writing now example for detergents example for detergents what are those sodium sodium lauryl sulfate or sulfonate you can have okay sulfate uh, its formula is uh, that is c12 h25 coo n so4 so4 minus na na plus sodium lauryl sulfate you can see that there is again a hydrocarbon end and there is a ionic end that's why these also will form the micelles because of the presence of both lyophobic and lyophilic ends so you call this one as a lyophobic tail you call this one as a lyophilic h okay so that is likewise you are having one more example that is sodium dodecyl sulfate also sds this is sls one more is there sds sodium lauryl sulfate it is not there but you should know just for the knowledge sake i told that is uh, they are also uh, cleans well in case of the what uh, water uh, that is nothing but the detergents so detergents will also form form the micelles okay so this completes the classification of collides and introduction to the collides in next class we are going to discuss about the methods of preparations of collides and different properties and uh, if possible uh, i think uh, further we are in need of uh, three classes two to three classes thereby we end up the chapter okay thank you